Hello, good evening. This time I have something great to present to you. So I started 3D printing in 2021 and it's been a really, really great journey from upgrading from Ender 3 to Elegoo Neptune 4 to Bamboo Lab 3D printer. That's a 3D printer upgradation. But also on the filament side, I first built this protrusion machine, what I call it, you know, it's converting a plastic bottle into 3D printing filament. The first time I saw it, it was like really, really fascinating. And I was really intrigued. So I started building one. I built a really this rough kind of machine just functional no, no no aesthetic at all just a big wooden piece and just hot end and all the controllers and there you go you have your machine and then the next version i built it with a little refinement with the wooden piece four legs and all the electronic beneath it and then the hot end honestly the basic concept has always been the same then i built the pet fusion which i launched on kickstarter and that became a really really great success people love that machine given that it was so compact 100 percent 3d printable and the component that i was using in order to make them machine function was like really really cheap and available around the globe so that was it but then i read this book and let me show it to you so this is Dieter Rams, the complete work, really, really great book. So I started reading this book and it filled with Dieter Rams work, like all the design that he did in his whole lifetime. And once I started reading about Dieter Rams, I realized one thing, which is like your design has to be simple, innovative and useful. These three things has to be there. And because of that, I realized I need to make something better. So I had this pet fusion machine. Hold on for a second. So this was the first version, the pet fusion machine. You can say it's really, really great. You know, compact, everything is packed inside this box. The filament cutter that operates simultaneously with the pultrusion, basically converting the uh, filament strip into a 1.75 millimeter off filament. And then the spool, which is connected to a gear DC motor, which spins it and push the filament through this hot end. But this was the great machine and quite innovative, I would say. It's a, like compact, easy to carry with a handle here. But then I thought, why don't I make something more of like a manufacturing unit? Like in a car factory, you see parts are manufactured somewhere else in a one section of the factory. And then the assembly is done in one section of the factory. And I found it really intriguing. Can't this be done with a single small machine that you see? So that's when the Pet Fusion 2.0 comes into play. I'll link it in the description if you want to check it out on Kickstarter. If the campaign is live, otherwise you'll see the buy now link. So this is Pet Fusion 2.0, little bigger than that one, but it loaded with features. So this one is little bigger than the Pet Fusion 1, but it's really, really great. Let me tell you why. So the Pet Fusion 1 was like a machine, which is more like a DIY project, but this one, I designed the Pet Fusion 2.0 with the one thing in mind is that speed, efficiency, and producing as much as filament, or you could say recycle as much as bottle you can in a shortest period of time. That's why I separated the first thing, cutting the bottle into strip, and then the conversion of it into 1.75 millimeter filament. And the other thing is I also added the filament welder since there's one piece, one bottle uh, from which you can only create a limit limited meters of filament basically not so usable given that such a short filament that you can't really print anything else. so once you like suppose you cycle multiple bottles now you can easily weld that filament using the filament welder so let me tell you how this thing works so basically it comes with a motorized cutter or, or every process is automated so you just load the bottle like you're seeing on the screen and it will gonna cut it into a strip and then take that strip and then like a normal uh, protrusion machine just put it in the hot end take a plier pull it out for a bit and then it comes with a filament color with a cotton you can put a cotton in it then put a few drops of any ink that you want to like a highlighter ink or any pen ink and then you put that and that's it uh, lock it into the spool and start rotating the motor but the best thing is it comes with two cotton to convert those strip into filament and that's a really great thing about pet fusion 2.0 is that it almost doubles your efficiency or you could say it doubles your production at the same time using the same amount of energy basically given that it comes with uh, this warm gear dc motor uh, that runs at 10 rpm which is more than enough for any protrusion machine once you do that now you can easily weld the filament so with Pet Fusion 2.0, it was, all, it was all about having the most efficient machine possible. Given that I wanted to make a machine that is innovative, simple, sleek, easy to carry. Given that it is super easy to carry because it comes with a handle to anywhere you like. And also increases the speed because the one factor while designing this was this machine was the speed in my mind. So I always wanted to like have a maximum speed. 
with little human play in it. So that's why I motorized the cutting and then protrusion is already automated. Then you just weld it simply. It's a simple filament welder. And there you go. You have your own factory at home. It's like occupying just 400 millimeter square area. It's like really, really less. So, and also comes to the electronics. Electronics, I use simple electronics as cheap as possible because I don't want to spend like a lot of money into this machine. So it's like for comparison to any other systems in the market of this pet fusion, like it's a protrusion machine. I chose the electronic, which is highly reliable, used at industrial level so that it lasts forever or as long as possible. And it is cheaper to source and available around the globe. Given that if I provide the electronic kit, then it will be pretty expensive that's why with this machine you can almost get those electronics anywhere in the globe it's super easy to source them because these are widely used component even anywhere in the world so it's pretty simple to assemble and make any beginner with next to zero skills in electronics can make this thing because the whole guide is available so the kickstarter link in description if you want to check it out this machine want to buy this that'll be great you are supporting this project so that i can work on more project for the 3d printing community to develop more sustainable or you could say a project that somehow helps the environment also saves your cost in a certain way so this is it for today's video see you in next one